So here I've got a 20 watt solar panel and this is a polycrystalline type. You can see all the higgledy piggledy crystal structure there on the surface. It's um, a 36 cell panel and actually probably more importantly look at this it's an absolutely glorious cloudless day so we're going to have sunshine all day perfect for conducting solar power experiments and to go with my 20 watt solar panel I have this which is a 21 watt bulb 12 volt 21 watt uh, out of a car I've wired a little wire harness on it so I can connect it up. Uh, this is a car brake light bulb. So on the face of it these should be a perfect match. A 21 watt bulb and a 20 watt solar panel. So let's see if we can light up, light up the bulb. So I've uh, angled the solar panel directly towards the sun and connected up the bulb. There it is and it's on. It lights up. So it works. But it's not terribly bright, is it? In fact, it's really quite dim. So there does appear to be a problem connecting a 21 watt bulb to a 20 watt solar panel. So I've rigged up a couple of um, digital voltmeters, digital multimeters and connected them through this little block here which enables me to measure current and also volts. So let's have a look at what we've got without the bulb connected. On the left we've got volts. So the open circuit voltage of this panel is 20.5 volts and of course there's no current flowing at the moment because we have no circuit because the plug isn't connected to anything. So, let's connect up the bulb and uh, see what we get. There's the connector. Uh, there's the one for the bulb. Right, so once again, just a dim glow on the bulb. So, on the right, which is the ampere meter, the current meter, we've got 1.17 amps and on the left we've only got 5.6 volts so that immediately explains why this bulb isn't very bright 5.6 volts on a 12 volt bulb uh, it's only running at half voltage so why is it that this 20 watt solar panel doesn't just miraculously detect that it's a 12 volt bulb and shove 12 volts through it. Well, solar panels are pretty dumb and um, it just isn't going to do that. In fact, solar panels are very fussy about the load that you connect um, in order to get the full power wattage out of the panel. Now there's a little clue here on the back of the panel. It says smart solar polycrystalline photovoltaic module working voltage 18 volts now we had nothing like 18 volts we had five and a half volts working current 1050 milliamps so that's 1.05 amps and we had about we had more than that actually we had about 1.1 something so certainly the voltage is way out and we need to have a little look at why well, the sun's come round a little bit now, and uh, we're getting a bit more power through the bulb. We've got uh, 5.93 volts on the voltmeter, 1.21 amps on the ammeter. So let's calculate what we're getting in terms of watts uh, power into that bulb. 5.93, 1.21. So let's go to the calculator. 5.93 times... 1.21. So we're only getting 7.2 watts. Now this is a 20 watt solar panel, so to only get 7.2 watts is a bit disappointing. And 
what's going on here is that there's a mismatch between the bulb as a load and the solar panel and the sort of load that it requires and we're going to need to do some maths to work out what's causing that mismatch so we'll cover that in part two